Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing. We're looking at world champions. And just to say a couple words, we're not going to talk about the WBA heavyweight champion of the world. That already we covered. His name is Vladimir Klitschko. So let's move on to the cruiserweight champion of the world. And the WBA cruiserweight champion of the world at present is Dennis Lebedev. Here he's fighting Powell... Uh, Colose. Now, Paolo Colose is the guy in the yellow trunks. He's the taller guy. And Dennis Lebedev, he's the shorter guy in the black trunks. Now, you may have heard of Dennis Lebedev if you were paying attention to the light heavyweight division and even the super middleweight division. Because Dennis Lebedev used to be in those divisions. But he moved up to the cruiserweight division. Here, he's fighting to regain his WBA cruiserweight title which he lost to another opponent. Now let's discuss Dennis Lebedev. Dennis Lebedev is a southpaw as you can see and of course Powell uh, Ludeze, he is a orthodox fighter. Both are boxers types uh, both use their jabs and so on to move around the ring. As you can see Dennis Lebedev he just caught uh, Powell Ludeze with a nice right hook there a little wild with the left hook but it is what it is I guess the other fighter he's a little taller now Dennis uh, Lebedev he uh, he has decent punching power and um, well, there you go <laughs> right on cue and here he caught Paul Ludeze with a uh, straight left or a slightly uh, slightly hooked and um, wow he knocked out Paul Ludeze, and that's all she wrote. Now let's look at Dennis Lebedev's um, his record. All right, he's from Russia. He's a southpaw, 5'11", and um, he's had 28 fights. He's won 26 fights, 20 by knockout. He's lost two. He's been knocked out once, and um, he has a 71% knockout ratio. Now what's interesting about Dennis Lebedev, like I said, he regained the WBA World Cruiserweight title. He lost it to Guillermo Jones. He was knocked out in the 11th round by Jones. And he lost the title that he had, which he just recently got about a year or so, a half a year ago in 2012, when he beat the undefeated Santander Silgado who was then the WBA Cruiserweight Champion. So, uh, Dennis Lebedev uh, knocked out his opposition to attain that uh, title. Now, Dennis Lebedev actually beat James Tony. Yeah, beat James Tony. Uh, he has also beaten Roy Jones Jr. Uh, he lost to Marco Huck when in a, 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 to, to not attain the WBO Cruiserweight title. Um, but he has beaten Roy Jones, James Tony. These are some big names he has on his list. When he was, let's see here. When he was light heavyweight, he beat a number of people. Uh, some of the names, uh, well, some of these names you don't know. <laughs> but, um, those two marquee names, James Tony and Roy Jones Jr., are big names. And of course, Marco Huck, he's a, another cruiserweight. So, what's the future in the future for Dennis Lebedev? Well, immediately in the future, on April the 10th, he fights Yuri Kayembre Kalenga. And uh, Yuri uh, Kalenga, he has 21 wins, 14 knockouts, 1 loss. Okay? So, there are only two people that Dennis Lebedev has ever lost to Marco Huck and Guillermo Jones, and it was a very close fight with Marco Huck. You know Marco Huck already. He is the, I believe he is the WBO Cruiserweight Champion of the World. And um, he just hasn't faced Gregory Drudds. So there's Marco Huck, Gregory Drudds, and if we include the IBF, there's Joan Pablo Hernandez from Cuba. So these are the main title holders out there for Dennis to fit his skills against. So what is the future for Dennis Lebedev? Well, we'll have to wait and see how things turn out with his opponent that he's supposed to face, which is 
uh, Yuri Kalenga. So how it turns out that Yuri Kalenga will tell us what's going to happen next with Dennis Lebedev. If he, you know, continues to defend his world title, maybe he may look at a unification. So we'll have to wait and see. Until then, you guys have a great day.